Planck constant, speed of light in vacuum and Newton's gravitational constant are three fundamental constant. Which of the following combination of these have the dimension of length? Right. Okay. So, we are representing length in terms of three constant that is H, C and gravitational constant. So, we can say L uh, is equal to or L is directly proportional to h to the power a, c to the power b and g to the power c where a, b, c are numerical constant and we have to find uh, value of a, b and <coughs> c. So, if the equation is uh, dimensionally correct then the dimension of length must be equal to dimension of h to the power a, c to the power b and g to the power c. Let us say this is equation number 1. First, we will find dimension of length. What is okay? Uh, what is the dimension of length? That is equal to m0 l1 t0. And what is dimension of h? To find dimension of h, okay, I will find dimension of h here. Dimension of h. How to find dimension of h? See, we know that uh, e is equal to, or uh, we can use the formula angular momentum is equal to nh by 2 pi. So, angular momentum, the dimension of h is equal to dimension of angular momentum that is mvr, angular momentum formula is mvr. So, dimension of m is m1, v is l1 t minus 1, dimension of r is l1, so this is equal to l2, m1 l2 t minus 1. So, this will be m to the power a, l to the power 2 a, t to the power minus a. Dimension of C we can use directly that is okay. I will write uh, separate terms for C that is our dimension of C. C is speed of light displacement upon time. So, m to the power 0, l to the power 1 means l to the power b, t to the power minus b. And dimension of C, dimension of C can be written as uh, dimension of G. Now, we have to find dimension of G. What is the dimension of G? See, for that purpose, we have to use formula F is equal to G M1 M2 by M1 M2 by R square. So, G is equal to F R square by M1 M2. M1 M2. So, dimension of G is equal to dimension of force is M1 L1 T minus 2. Dimension of R is L2. And dimension of M1 M2 is M2. So, this will be m to the power minus 1, l to the power 3, t to the power minus 2. So, this is m to the power minus 1, l to the power 3, t to the power minus 2. Right. So, if we add all these terms on right side, m to the power a, no, this is m to the power minus c, l to the power 3c, t to the power minus 2c. So, m to the power a minus c, l to the power 2a plus b plus 3c and t to the power minus a minus b minus 2c and this is m to the power 0, l to the power 1, t to the power 0. So, if we compare the powers of mass, length and time, so power of m is a minus c and here it is 0. So, we can write a is equal to c, right, a value of a is equal to c. If you compare power of length, the power of length is equal to 2a plus b plus 3c is equal to 1 and we know a is equal to c, so we can write here. Uh, 2a plus b plus 3a is equal to 1. So, 5a plus b is equal to 1. And if you compare power of time, minus a minus b minus 2c is equal to 0. So, a plus b plus 2c is equal to 0. If you put c is equal to a, a plus b plus 2a is equal to 0. So, 3a plus b is equal to 0, right. Let us say this is equation number 2, this is equation number 3. If we subtract 2 and 3, 2 minus 3, so 5a plus b is equal to 1, 3a plus b is equal to 0. In that case, 5a minus 3a is 2a, 
b b cancel out this is equal to 1 so a is equal to 1 by 2 the so value of a is 1 by 2 which is equal to c and value of b put this value in equation number 3 so 3 into 1 by 2 plus b is equal to 0 so we can write b is equal to minus 3 by 2 b is equal to minus 3 by 2 so value of a and c are same b is equal to minus 3 by 2 ok now put these values in equation number 1 so dimension of length is equal to h to the power uh, ok we can write it as l, l is equal to h to the power a a is 1 by 2 c to the power b b is minus 3 by 2 and g to the power c g to the power c c is 1 by 2 so we can write this is equal to under root of h d divided by c to the power c by 2 under root h g divided by c to the power 3 by 2 option a is a correct one right